Hello, ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? It's 3 a.m. The LCS finals have just happened. I'm recording this right now so I can get this video out as quick as possible. We're going to go over the playoffs finals results here in this little episode. And, oh boy, this is going to be extremely quick of a video. And I'm really looking forward to discussing everything that we have saw over this weekend of League of Legends. Without further ado, let's jump into today's results and go over how we did. So, as you can see on the screen right now, we have the tweet that I put my results to the Grand Finals in. But before we actually get to them two series, we had two others the day before. G2 versus Rogue and TSM versus Team Liquid. Now, for them series, the G2 versus Rogue one, I went with a 3-1-2 G2, expecting them to just stomp through Rogue like Fnatic did, but we instead got the full five games. Rogue battled back through that series, looking actually decent in a couple of games, but the superiority of G2 prevailed and they took down Rogue 3-2, and that is our first correct uh, team win this weekend which was overall very good the second game that we saw was Fnatic vs G2 in the LCS in the grand finals I predicted the series to go to a 3-2 for G2 well we did not get that sadly we got a G2 stomp they always save the three zeros to the finals and we got the 3-0 from G2 absolutely decimating Fnatic, though the series realistically did deserve to go more than three games, as Fnatic kind of choked in the last game, the pressure got to them, and G2 took it. As for the LCS, we started the weekend off with a TSM game versus Team Liquid. For this, I predicted Team Liquid to actually beat TSM here, 3-2, where in actual fact we did see a 3-2. But it went to TSM. TSM showed up in style in that game 5, getting so many big plays, stealing away objectives in the entire series. Speaker stepped up and showed up for TSM in that game, and I would have said would have been player of the series. As for the last game that's literally just concluded, we have TSM versus FlyQuest in the grand finals, and oh boy. This was a tooth and nail brawl. TSM dismantled FlyQuest in the first two games, and it took FlyQuest a f battle back in two games after that, as Solo getting constantly targeted by TSM. But that tactical 40 minute break that we saw in game two, thanks to uh, uh, Wild Turtle having to relocate to. The FlyQuest facility did wonders for them. They battled back. They won two more games, taking it to Game 5 once again. TSM, though, came out trumps in Game 5, beating FlyQuest 3-2 to two overall. And that is actually a big result for us, because that's another correct prediction to us, as we went with the 3-2 overall in that series. Now, with all of the LCS games, completed with all of the LEC games completed it's time we check our final grand total in this split so let us check our tallies for this split this weekend we had two games in both actual leagues and in the LEC we got a perfect 2 out of 2 taking us to a grand total of 57 out of 98 this is not as good as our Results for last split, I'll be honest. Considering there was one extra game, that total is literally 13 points lower than it was last split. And as a whole, that is not very impressive. But going above 50% accuracy on results is huge, and in my opinion, makes it worthwhile to actually keep continuing with the LEC predictions. As for the LCS, we got one of the two games 
correct with the TSM and Team Liquid series going in favor of TSM instead of Team Liquid, taking us up to a nice big grand total of 70. And that is huge for me because last split we only got 60. Out of the 100 games, there was 102 in the LCS this week, or split, and as such, our grand total would technically be 68 out of the nice big juicy total of 100. So it's still 9 points more than what we would have got, and as such, I'm really proud with my LCS results. We upped it this split in comparison to last, and as such, I'm really glad that technically my result will roughly come out to 140, 100 and, yeah, 130, sorry, out of 270 games dropped in the LCS all split, uh, sorry, season, and for the LEC, it's a bit more of an odd number because I have to do more maths here, 103, uh, 193 games in total, then you have the 60 plus the 57. Yeah, it's a bit of odd math, but as I say, pretty favoured here in the, this split in terms of results. But I think we should finally end this video in a smart way. I'd like to congratulate TSM and G2 Esports on once again winning their respective leagues. I know G2 won this last split in spring, but TSM, after a couple of years out of the winning of the LCS finally pick up their seventh trophy and have finally climbed back to the former glory. And yeah, I'm gonna be now moving into Worlds. And my content will now be moving also to Worlds. So be sure to check out that. As for the Anarchy Analysis predictions videos, well, these are the last. This is the last video for the LEC and LCS, obviously, for this year. We've still got Worlds. I'm going to be predicting every single game slash series in the, L in the World Championships in Shanghai. And as such, I'm really looking forward to it. Nonetheless, that is going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed it, Leave a like down below, subscribe if you're new here if you want to, and I will see you guys later with my actual team fight, well, series breakdowns for both the G2 series and the TSM series. Alright, peace out guys.